Hey everybody, this is Nemo, and in today's quick tip, we will see how to easily add a pop-up link to various text in PrestaShop. And we will do it for products, although the same process actually applies to all of the other entities. So categories and CMS pages, for example. But before writing anything, we need to make sure the so-called HTML purifier library uh, PrestaShop comes with is disabled and it comes uh, with this library since 1.6.0.8, I think. So in the admin panel, preferences general, now mine is uh, disabled already, but make sure this option is set to no, and then of course, save. This will prevent it from stripping out any eventual parameter tag we might want to add to the fancy box link. And Actually, this time we will not necessarily use them, but getting rid of this option is often useful when you have issues with HTML tags in PrestaShop. So now that this is settled, we can start adding our links. So let's deal with the product. So products, I will choose blouse. I don't know why I always choose blouse. I think the name is just short. So I will scroll down to my description and then I will choose a word, so more, for example. And now we need to add a link with a specific class or ID. And the only way to do it is through the source editor. So first let's add the link. And I already have uh, the CMS page I want to link here, but I need to add another parameter, actually the first parameter here, the query string. And so question mark content only equals one. This will ensure we're not loading all of the page, but just uh, the very content. So we'll strip out a uh, header and footer and menus and so on. All right, so let's check again that our link is linked, okay? Now, the source code editor. Let's find the anchor. It's this one, so we'll add class. Uh, we'll call it my fancy box. My fancy box. Okay. All right. Save and say. Now, just to make sure it's still there, let me check again. Okay. Seems to be in place. Now, um, please notice this class we just added will be removed in case uh, you use the helper, the um, link helper again to modify the anchor text uh, link, sorry. So uh, we're done with this part now, which was actually the easiest one, but don't be discouraged. Um, we need to add a very, very short string to global.js. So I will, I will reach my themes bootstrap folder JS and I'll open up global.js. Now inside the first document ready, I'll just paste in my script. It's, it's very simple. So we're targeting the fancy box class here because uh, you might know uh, you can target with JavaScript, you can target a different elements having the same class, but an ID should be unique. So in this case, we're using a class because um, we, only need one of this uh, JavaScript triggers to target all of the anchors with the My Fancy Box class. So in this case, each one will open its own link, but we only need this small script to target them all. And um, I want you to notice the parameter I'm passing in, which is type Ajax, because otherwise PrestaShop will try to load uh, the page first, and we don't want this to happen. Okay, save, oops, save. And that's it, so let's reach our blouse page. So let's close this up, blouse. And let's scroll down to more. All right, it's working, great. Now, what if we want to add some custom content, something that's not there, it's not a CMS page, nothing. Well, it's a tiny bit more tricky. Uh, we need to create a hidden box first, unless, of course, we, we uh, have it somewhere already. So I'll go back to my description here and then add it. So uh, bear in mind, this is not 
exactly the optimal way to do it. I'm just showing you the process. So, um, I'll add, for example, div style hidden. And this is our wrapper, uh, sorry, um, display non, hidden should be a class, what am I saying? So display non, and then I will add the real box that we'll be fetching content from. So uh, div, in this case, I'll use an ID, div ID, uh, my special content, or something like that. Okay, content goes here. I will close this, I hope it didn't make any obvious mistake. All right, so div style display non, and then my special content, I will copy this ID, okay. And then here, instead of using this href, I will simply target the element. Okay, so. All right, let's go back and check everything is actually working. So display non div ID should be okay. Let me reload the blouse. Oops, I did something wrong, obviously. Oh, right. Okay, I forgot to take off type Ajax. So, okay, reload again, things that happen. And now it should be okay, okay, yep. So there is our custom content. Um, bear in mind, this trigger will be valid for all pages since we applied it to global.js. So you can use, as I mentioned before, you can use the same class to trigger custom fancy boxes throughout all the site. But of course, make sure that class is not used by something else you might need. All right, this is everything for today's video. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching, everyone. I will see you next time.